we might have different uh, preferences around how we like to communicate. And again, using very broad strokes of generations, I know better than to uh, send an email to the newest member of our team. Uh, she's uh, uh, on the cusp between a, a Gen Z and millennials. And uh, uh, I used to send her emails and think, how come I'm not getting hearing back from her? Um, and so duh, uh, my son said, I, I was kind of saying, oh, I wonder what's wrong just out loud. My son said, mom, I hope you didn't send her an email, send her a text. So those sorts of things will, uh, knowing those generational preferences can then help us say, ah, it isn't that they're ignoring me. Um, they're, they're perhaps following the preference of their generation and that we can use that to then dig deeper with the individual. Working together, relating to one another across those uh, different generations is partly coming down to understanding self. What are those things that shape me and what's important to me as I show up in the workplace? And what are some of those things that shape, uh, in general, the different generations so that I can then be aware of that as I'm relating. One of the things I know uh, that I discovered with millennials was a lot of people were, oh, millennials, you know, they, they care more about their uh, personal life and having fun. And what we've seen as those millennials have matured, that what we saw were more their stage in life rather than their generation. So I remember as a baby boomer, when I was in my 20s, guess what? The weekends were way more important than my uh, weekdays.